Hello. Uh, welcome to A Common Touch of Fantasy. My name is Paul, and tonight we are doing a short fiction read-along. This is how it's going to happen. We have three short stories, and each of them are free on the internet for you guys to read and for me to read. They are all Nebula Award nominees, and I'm going to read all three of them. Um, I'm going to read Madeline by Amal El Motar first. The link is in the description box below, but the link is always on the screen as well. Now, I'm going to read this and then come back and talk about what I liked about the short story. So, this is what you guys are going to do. You are going to pause it and then you are going to come back after you've read the short story and listen to my thoughts and then in the comments below you'll write what your thoughts were on Madeline okay so at this moment please pause and read the short story all right I'm back I just finished uh, Madeline and it was pretty good uh, first um, my impression right away is, okay, this girl is somehow going into the past, time traveling through her memories, and then I'm thinking, well, if you go back into your memories, is that actually, is that time travel? It kind of is. And then the things about her mom passing away, then I was like, oh man, this is sad. And finding out that, you know, she took an experimental Alzheimer's drug to maybe find a cure for her mom I was like oh wow that's difficult and then I was thinking about like you know, Alzheimer's and how I would deal with my own mother and parents having it and I got sadder and so and then I started reading and then um, Zanab shows up shows up and uh, everything turns very interesting uh, the speculative part of it started to happen where Zinab was in all of her uh, memories and now Madeline is trying to figure out why she's in those memories and Clarice her psychologist is trying to think that it's just her making a friend for comfort in her memories and then they're able to share all these different memories but then Zineb says that you know uh, you're actually in my memories and then Madeline's like, what? No, you're in my memories. So then I realize, you know, Zaneeb is an actual person. And what I got at the end was that uh, they are now in the doctor's office or the psychiatrist's um, facility. And uh, Zaneeb, I'm just saying that, I know, is probably um, there with Madeline and they're in this same area either that or Madeline is actually in the psychiatric ward and she she has been admitted but she's okay with that because uh, Zanab is, is there with her uh, very cool story uh, I think the ending is a little bit up for interpretation uh, I'll give this one a four I, I liked it uh, and I like that it's kind of your own interpretation and there's some feeling in there but and the writing is really good but there just wasn't that amazement factor that I thought would happen at the end like maybe like a twist or something uh, or like a huge reveal of some kind I there just wasn't really that unless I totally misread the ending uh, if I did let me know all right, on to story number two. This is Cat Pictures, Please, by Naomi Kritzer. This is on Clark's World. Once again, the link is in the description below. And we will be starting the story in a little bit. Remember, in the description box, or in the comments below, say what you thought of the story, if you liked it or not. And uh, talk about the story in the comments below. Um, one good thing that you might want to do is just to um, 
reply like in the comment how you felt about it and then hit play from where you paused it so that you reply and get your ideas out before you listen to me talk about my ideas okay so go ahead and pause we will be starting cats pictures please all right so i just finished cat pictures please by naomi kritzer and i did not like this i i'm gonna give this one a two i realized right away that the ai was the internet and after i realized that like right away it just did nothing for me whatsoever um, there's no SFFF part of this story to me. Uh, it's just random stories about three random people dealing with issues that, you know, I don't know. I mean, honestly, <laughs> anyone in the life has people, friends, and has their own issues. And I just was not in the mood for reading, uh, you know, random made up people's issues and how the internet tried to solve their issues. I just thought it was stupid. So I'm giving it a two out of five. Uh, what did you think of it? Did you actually like it? Did you find it profound? I just, I find it like important in any way. I just felt it was just pointless. It was kind of just, I don't know. It's like self-serving in a way. I didn't like it. So, yeah. On to the next one. Alright, and our last short story is Damaged by David D. Uh, Levine. This is on Tor.com. The link is below in the description box. Make sure you read the short story before I talk about it. And then you can reply below in the comments what you thought of it. Alright? So, on the count of three, pause this video. One, two, three. Alright, I am back. I just finished reading Damage by David D. Levine. And I have very mixed feelings on this one. I like the premise, I like the themes, and I like the idea of the AI ship deciding uh, not to destroy the cities and going on a blaze of glory against the other um, fighters, uh, but I had an issue with the description of the action and the dog fighting and stuff it just seemed I don't know it just I just couldn't pay attention um, the best parts were the, the dialogue parts between the ship and the, the uh, captain the ship and the maintenance person and then the ship just musing thoughts the actual action like I could not care less about the actual action because it's a short story, like, I have no, um, actual stake in this story whatsoever, because it's so short, like, I don't know these characters, there's no tension in the fighting, because I don't know anything of what's going on, backstory, who these, who the ship is, who the captain is, and there just is no, like, tension, so, um, I'll, I'm giving this one a three. I like the premise. I think it could have been a lot better. The writing was decent. Uh, descriptions were good, but I just couldn't connect with the action. Um, what did you guys think of this one? Put it in the comments below. And what did you think of me doing these three short stories and then talking about them? Um, if you read along with me, thank you so much. And if you commented on your thoughts of these stories, thank you so much. Um, I definitely liked the first story the best, Madeline, followed by Damage, and then followed by um, the cat story. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like to see something like this again in the future, let me know if you liked it. Thanks.